just save my mind. Sometimes, you know, I, I sit up in a corner and I, and I want to explore my mind. Sometimes the system, they try to, they try to entrap my mind. Comes from eta sub zero. Okay? Eta sub zero. Eta sub zero is the beginning. Is God. Before matter. Before the highest territory. So, it is the spirit. And it has a whole spectrum. See, the, the significance of God defining spirit, spirituality, is important in terms of quantification, quantifying it. Because the blackness already recognizes spirituality. But in order for you to understand that spirituality, you have to quantify it. You have to yes. quantify it so you can right. know the dynamics. No, so that's why we become. That's because the container now becomes the perceptual quantifier Amen. for Amen. consciousness. Amen. So that quantification therefore gives you the ability to understand the dynamics. So you can flourish with mm. it. Mm. Yeah. So you can excel in it. So you can, you know, really, really be energized Glorify. in dealing with it. Glorify. You, you can glorify the Almighty God. So it is a whole spectrum. Now where problems come in is when you don't realize that, like our ancestors, okay? And you think the little that you know yes. makes you pay. Yes. Yes. That's where the problem is. Sister, I'm getting back to you, okay? I hope you're patient. See, that is where the problem comes. That's the problem. Egocentrism, mm -hmm. ego tripping, is part of the problem. Mm -hmm. When a humanity would say, under certain leadership, would say, mm -hmm. right, what they cannot perceive doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. ah, that sounds familiar. Really it's called I'm from Missouri. Yes. <laughs> if they can't perceive it, it doesn't exist. That's arrogance. Yes. That's also ignorance. Yes, it is. Okay? So, if you leave room for things beyond your basic senses, that's where the, the so called dark matter comes in. There's more hard to dark matter than substance in reality. Dark matter is all above in eta sub zero. If you consider the entire spectrum. The visual section of the spectrum, you can see their effects. The audio part of the spectrum, you can hear their effects. There are a lot of things that you can neither see their effects or hear their effects. Therefore, you can't perceive those. Mm -hmm. exactly. But you can feel them. That's right, yes. You can feel them in your guts. That's, right. That's what they call dark matter. That's why I call it dark matter consciousness. That consciousness. Consciousness. It's a consciousness that is is, is superior. Mm -hmm. That's a superior. Come that said, listen, I can feel it. Yes. It's a I can feel yeah, it. Yeah, man. I, I, I. And you know, I want you to go home and think of more questions. <laughs> may I, if I, yeah. And ask. Go ahead, brother. Oh, I'm sorry. If I may. I know, the brother, there's so much to what yes. this is about. There's no way we can encapsulate it. What I can do for you to let you know is that the mind that you have now operating with you, through thought, you create conditions that become what are known as appetites. These appetites tend to create conditions within the body that, in, according to Gagla, tends to accelerate the life process out of the body. So, in overstanding, understanding how your thoughts create appetites based upon emotion, which is electrical motion, yes. how you begin to calibrate those thoughts and emotions through all the cells of your body yes. creates appetites. In other words, someone who sexes a lot, for instance, creates a sexual appetite based on the fact 
that their thought process creates sexual cells who then vibrate that energy through you to activate or act upon that appetite. The more appetite you have, the more you accelerate the life process out of the body. So the less appetite you have, the less your body is agitated or irritated, thus the less you move your age process forward. You do not age because you spin around the sun. That, that so, solar aging is a lie. You age every seven years. Your whole body recharges itself and re re replenishes its total cellular structure. Within that seven year cycle, how are you acting? How are you behaving? How are you processing stimuli through emotion? All of these come together in ten. I know that semen dealing with the male. Yes. His essence. Yes. I know the more that you lose of that, that's yes. something vital for what you like. Exactly. Yes. So, yes. Right. And then with the female, it's her blood. Yes. Excuse me, Phil. Is that appetite, is another word for the appetite called uh, desire? See no, desire and feeling are male and female aspects that create the appetite. You can create an appetite based on desire and you can create an appetite based on feeling. Yes. Let so me, these two aspects, yes. Yes, let me, yes, let me just say that. Again, it's within God. Okay? And the sub zero is the realm that we're talking about. Which is the spirituality, the brain waves, okay? The mind waves. That's what we're talking about. Yes. You understand? Now, um, first of all, aging is an arbitrary phenomenon that you're forced to really see through the eyes of somebody in many ways. But that brings in a dramatic or a drama from the night and day. The motion that I explained to you earlier. This rotation about the axis, okay, by Mother Earth is where you get so down tall about aging. And in some ways, there is a part to like the engine. When the engine runs, okay? When the engine runs, it ages, supposedly. What they're saying that is moving, it's moving, and it's moving so many times. The moving so many times is not necessarily meant to get you to break down. You understand? The moving, if you collide it, okay? If you do something bad in the process of the motion, then okay, you can see how you could, you know, get into trouble. But if you're moving smoothly on the proper trajectories, mm, that's right. you shouldn't have to worry about aging at all. Mm, that's right. Definitely. Right. Consciousness. You should not have to worry about age. The way that you meant to think about age is a wrong way. That's right. Erroneous. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 70 years supposedly age mm -hmm. should have nothing to do with the state of your existence. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because you're counting a revolution. That's all you count. That's all you do. Right. Mm -hmm. A revolution around the sun. That's, that's what right. you're counting as, that's as all years. Hello. Hello. That's really it. Hello. That has no bearing per se on your system. Mm -hmm. right. Your mind Okay? Ages. You know, it's where the agent comes from. It's, you know, you heard the expression, it's all in your mind? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yes, in yeah, reality. Be because ethos of zero drives all that process. Mm -hmm. So if you get involved in that, and the dynamics involves you creating time for yourself, just like he said, you know, the desires. I control within it as of zero. That's what God calls you on to do right now. To take control over your <coughs> thinking process. <coughs> and through that, you can improve a lot, the majority. And by linking it with you know the dynamics of God, you can live up a very long time. Yeah. Sometimes the streets wanna enslave my mind. But you know what? Uh, do all the good and the bad. I just try to 